Hi, I'm Mike Moses, Spaceline President. We've been hard at work these last few months building our spaceships. Let's dive right into our accomplishments in this episode of Galactic 10. Beginning at number 10, this past quarter, the oxidizer tank for our first spaceship completed acceptance testing. It is now being cleaned and ready for shipment to our spaceship factory. This tank stores the high energy propellant used to power us to space. Number nine, the two most impressive assembly tools in our factory are now in place. Our giant wing up vertical final assembly tool has been fully installed. This towering jig is where we attach and assemble all of the wing structures, part by part. The wing is then transferred to a separate wing down horizontal assembly tool, which has also been fully installed in the factory. This wing down tool is where we will join the wing to the fuselage, which will complete two thirds of our spaceship. At number eight, two of the wing skins have arrived at our spaceship factory. These massive skins are the outer surfaces of the spaceship wing created from our strong heat resistant BMI carbon composite to withstand repeated re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. The next set of wing skins are already being made in Carbon's Georgia facility and will soon be joining their counterparts in the factory. Coming in at number seven, you might remember last quarter, I showed you the tooling we would use to lay up and create the cabin bulkhead parts. The first two parts have been made with those tools and are being prepped to ship to our spaceship factory. The dome-shaped parts are also referred to as pressure bulkheads because they cap the front and back ends of the pressurized spaceship cabin. Number six, speaking of the cabin, the massive assembly tools that will bring together the upper and lower fuselage have arrived at the spaceship factory and are in place. The carbon fiber parts that go into those assembly tools are moving through the layup and build at Carbon's facility. The lower fuselage skin is in work and we expect the upper fuselage skin won't be far behind. Number five, the spaceship's towering feather boom skins are now in layup at Bell's Manufacturing Technology Center in Texas. The boom skins are created with the same heat resistant BMI carbon fiber as the rest of our spaceship. The boom is basically the tail of our spaceship. And once we reach space, the booms are raised using our feather mechanism. This is the most innovative feature of our spaceship. It's what gives the vehicle its unique capability to change its shape, which ensures safe, flight proven, aerodynamically controlled re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere on a repeated basis. We are headed into the final stretch at number four. Our test engineers have completed functional testing and are starting vibration testing of the various core valve designs that we use on our spaceship. These tests are designed to push our systems to their limit, going beyond what is expected of them during a space flight. Once we complete vibration testing, we'll be ready to test how they function in the extreme hot and cold temperatures of space. At number three, let's take a look at our progress on mechanical systems. Our spaceship landing gear is 95% complete, having been assembled out of dozens of individual components. The first production set should be ready soon for acceptance testing in our Iron Bird test rig, and then on to delivery at the spaceship factory. Ground testing of other key mechanical systems is already underway, and the remaining systems are scheduled to begin testing this summer. At number two, we've made big progress performing software and systems testing for our avionics. Avionics play a big role in our spaceship and in our mission profile. They connect with every system on the ship to give the pilots the information and control that they need to safely operate throughout the mission. The tests we do in our lab allow us to rigorously refine the software and the hardware for our new ships well before their first flight. All of this testing provides us with the data and knowledge designed to keep our ships safe, as well as allowing for a very efficient flight test program. Finally, at number one, our pilots have been hands-on with the new flight control system in our flight simulator. We have a group of the world's best test pilots who are expert engineers in their own right. Our flight controls have been updated in our new ship, so to test and tune the system, our pilots will fly hundreds of incredibly accurate space flight simulations to finalize the design and handling qualities of the ship well before the first flight takes place. When you fly to space with Virgin Galactic, our incredible pilots will be the ones to get you there and back safely. As you can see, we are full steam ahead, building and preparing our spaceships. I can't wait to see the ship and crew take flight. Be sure to follow along and watch this space for our next Galactic 10 update.